I want to show you the Dabson 2000L portable power station in case this is something you're considering getting. First, I want to start with a tour of the unit and talk about charging and discharging, and hopefully this video is helpful to you. Full disclosure, the brand did send this unit for me to test out, but everything in this video is my own opinion. So in case you don't know what this is, there is a battery inside of here, and that battery is used to store energy, and then you can use this to output AC and DC power. The battery inside of here is semi-solid state lithium ion phosphate, one of the newest battery technologies that's out there, and it's rated for 4,000 cycles. And a cycle is starting at 100%, draining the battery down to zero, and then charging it back up to 100%. When you do that, that counts as one cycle. So this one's rated for 4,000 of those. And if you only do a portion, so you go down to 50%, back up to 100%, then that's half a cycle. So that's how that works. First, let's take a look at the front. It has six AC outlets. These outlets combined can do 2,200 watts of continuous output power, and they can surge much higher than that, usually double that. So that'd be 4,400 watts or so. So that's plenty to start your full-size refrigerator. And this can run uh, something like your fridge and other devices for quite a while. So that's really good in case there's a power outage. For a DC outputs, so there are two USB-C one is rated at 100 watts of output and the other is rated at 30 watts of output. Over here you have USB-A ports, those are rated at 18 watts each. Here is a 12 volt uh, car port and then here is a DC output port that's rated at 48 watts. And then you have a light here, this is high, low, and then there's SOS. If we zoom in on the screen, there's actually three different colors on this screen, which is pretty nice. There's a lighter blue and a darker blue state of charge in the middle with this little animation here when it's charging or discharging. And then you have your input wattages on this side, output wattage on this side, and some icons. And then there's, I mentioned three colors. There's a red color over here that has the time, time to full to tar, charge it up to 100% or time to empty. So since I'm not really using it, that's why it says 99 hours. On the side of the unit, there's the logo on this side. There's really nothing on this side. On the back is where you charge the unit. Here's where you plug it in to charge from the wall AC. And over here is where you would charge it by solar panels or by the 12 volt source in your car. This unit can handle up to 800 watts of solar input. So I'll show you that in action in a little bit, uh, but you can charge solar and AC at the same time. And then at the top here, there's a handle on the front and the handle in the back to make it easy to carry. And then the top is all flat. And this two kilowatt hour power station on my scale comes in at 40 pounds, three ounces. So that's one of the lightest, if not the lightest, two kilowatt hour power station that I've ever tested. Next, let's talk about charging. The 2000L can charge by solar panels. I have it working right now. It can handle up to 800 watts of solar through the back, through one XT60 port right here, so 800 watts, and this is rated up to 60 volts, so make sure you don't go over the 60 volt limit, and you just plug your solar panels right into there. If you want to charge by AC, you plug it in over there. This is a 200 watt solar panel. Have it pointed at the sun. And what I have going on right here is I'm actually using the AC outlet, so you can charge by solar and use the AC outlets at the same time. So if you were in a camping scenario and you wanted to use the DC or AC outlets, uh, that is an option. Okay, so it looks like it's flashing, but it's not in real life, it's just a recording. So this says 128 watts of solar is coming in. There's the state of charge at 99%. And then right here, it says it's outputting 289 watts. So I'm using this to, uh, to run something else over there. So it's pretty cool that half of what I need to run this outlet is coming from solar right at the moment. So it's going to deplete this very slowly as it goes down. Uh, so I really like charging by solar panels whenever possible. And then you could put several of these 200 watt solar panels in parallel uh, or, or in series, depending on what the voltage is. Just you can't get over that 60 volt limit and then uh, plug it right into the 2000L. I want to show you that you can recharge by AC and solar panels at the same time. So here's the Dabson app. You can communicate with the device Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So if you're camping and you don't have internet, uh, you can use Bluetooth. So I changed the charging speed to 400 watts and it has many, many options here, uh, but I chose 400 watts. And I want to show you that you can charge by solar panels and AC at the same time. It's gonna be really hard to see the screen because it's so bright, but it says about 400 watts right there, 401, 402. And in the back, 
we have wall AC coming in over here and then the solar coming over here. And as far as I can tell, it prioritizes the solar. So what I have is a, again, 200 watt solar panel and it's producing over 100 watts. So of that 400 watts going into the 2000L, this is going to max it out and then it's gonna draw the remainder from here. So that's really awesome. So another thing you can do is you can max this out and then max out the solar uh, at 800 watts and combine that together to recharge the batteries in its fastest uh, possible form. So for this test, let's see how long it takes to charge from zero to 100%. I went into the app and selected fast charge and set my timer here. It's just been going for about a minute. And so I also have it on this meter so I can monitor it. You can see about a thousand watts right there, which corresponds to the input right there. So we made it to 100%. It took about two hours. It was less time than this because I was a few minutes off. So let's say two hours that it took to get to 100%. All right, now let's talk about output and focus on the AC outlets first. The inverter on here can output 2200 watts of continuous output. And what I have right here is a load that's pretty similar to that. You can see it's 2170 or so watts, just a little bit under its maximum continuous output. And it'll be able to do this output from 100% down to 0%. So that's, uh, that's a really good amount of power to be able to come out of these AC outlets. It can also surge double that. So it can do a surge power for a brief second or so of 4,400 watts. And that's important because you can start a full-size refrigerator, a small air conditioner, things that require that brief surge of energy to get started. And then you can continuously run across all these output ports up to 2200 watts. The 2000L can switch over from grid power to battery power. It's rated for 15 milliseconds, so that's great in case there's a power outage and you want the AC outlets to continue to run. So for example, I have a laptop here. There's no battery inside of this laptop. It's running right off the AC and I have a light over there. So what I'm gonna do is simulate a power outage and you can see off of Yoda back there, ready, three, two, one, and a little bit of flicker. Here from the light, you can see the laptop is still running. So it was able to switch over from grid power to battery power and keep these AC outlets going. All right, next I'm doing an AC efficiency test to see how efficient the inverter is. I started at 100% and I have a constant draw of about 1400 watts. So on my meter here, I'm gonna keep an eye on the kilowatt hours. And then once that gets to zero, compare this total with the stated capacity of the 2000L. And after the battery drained to 0% with about a 1400 watt consistent load, the measured efficiency was really impressive, over 91%. You can also use the Dapson smartphone app to monitor and control the device. You can see the, the input and the output settings. And particularly what I always like is a firmware update. So if I click on firmware, I'm up to date. And there's all kinds of other settings you can do, you know, discharge, charging settings, like here, I can go quiet mode or fast charge mode. So hopefully this has been a helpful look at the Dapson 2000L portable power station.